welcome to Hong Kong Network where you get updates of things happening around you. I appreciate every one of you that have subscribed to this channel. And if you have not subscribed, I say thank you very much because I know that at the end of this news, you are going to subscribe. And I want you to press the red button and also the bell icon so that you'll be notified anytime we publish any news. Thank you very much once again. How I transmitted election results. INEC presiding officer reviews. A presiding officer during the February 23rd presidential election, Mr. Ade Ju Yitong Olalekon, has revealed how he transmitted the presidential election petition tribunal in Abuja on Monday. The presiding officer revealed that he personally transmitted the results collated at his polling unit during the poll. Olalekon took the witness stand as the petitioner's witness at the instance of the People's Democratic Party and its presidential candidate, Atiku Abubakar, who are by their petition challenging the victory of President Muhammad Buhari and all the All Progressives Congress. Olale Konwu was earlier led by the petitioner's late counsel, Dr. Levy Uzoku, SAN, to adopt his witness statements on oath as his evidence-in-chief was not asked to mention the state or the polling unit where he worked during the poll. Under cross-examination by Buhari's lawyer, Chief Wale Olanekwekun S.A.N., Olanekwekun, who said he was a lecturer at African Community of Inquiry College of Education in Enugu State, maintained that he personally, that he personally transmitted the collated results as his polling unit. I did it myself as a presiding officer. I transmitted through the code provided by INEC, he said. But when asked by INEC's lawyer, Yunus Usman, SAN. Olalekon said he did not have the name or the number of the server. Feeding questions from APC's lawyer, Akin Olujimi, SAN. The witness said, without the code, you cannot make any transmission of results. But asked if he attached the code with which he claimed to have transmitted the collated results to his witness statement on oath. He said he did not but had it on his phone. While being cross-examined by Olani Kwekun, the witness maintained that all the voters at his polling units voted via card reader as the machine worked perfectly. He also insisted that INEC did not direct presiding officers to allow voters who could not be authenticated by the card reader machine to vote manually with their picture captured. He said, no, we were not directed to allow people to vote manually. The card reader worked for every voter who came to my polling unit. So that is just what uh, the presiding officer of Nine INEC is saying, testifying. We have had 13 presiding officers coming before now that they transmitted results through the card reader and to the server. That, that is server because they are all surprised that INEC is claiming now that there is nothing like server. And from the uh, what we heard yesterday, the INEC chairman has already vowed that when the time comes at the end of the this uh, petition, that tribunal uh, petition is going to come out to say what he knows about the server. We don't even know what he's going to say because before now they told us that it's, it was for experiments. And also, Buba Galadima appeared as Atiku Abubakar's first witness at the election tribunal. The, the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic is challenging Buhari's victory in court. Adams Oshomole also appeared for the APC in his first appearance in court. Abubakar has commenced the presentation of witness at the presidential election tribunal as he challenges the victory of President Muhammadu Buhari in 2019 election. The, national, the nation reports that the presidential candidate of PDP presented Buba Galadima on Monday. Galadima has been a fierce critic of President Muhammadu Buhari and served as spokesperson of the PDP presidential campaign team. Also, the National Chairman of the All Progressives Congress, APC, Adams Oshomole, made an appearance at the preceding. This is the first appearance of the, chairmans of the Chairman of the Ruling Party. In contrast, the Chairman of the PDP, Uche Sekondus, has been attending the proceedings. Oshomole announced appearance as standing in for, in for the party and President Muhammadu Buhari. He was accompanied by former Chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, Nuru Ribadu, Nuru Ribadu. Meanwhile, a chieftain of the PDP, Adam Sani, assured Atiku that he would be declared winner at the tribunal. Sani, while speaking to supporters of the PDP and Atiku on Wednesday, July 3rd, called for 
calm and prayers over the ongoing tribunal sitting. He said Asiku needs to be declared winner of the presidential election so that he, Asiku, can deliver on his campaign promises to the people of Nigeria. Niger.com and legis have it that updates that, that the server, you know, was really on INEX uh, a, a platform, but INEX is still denying there is nothing like server. 2019 election, Atiku has to, co to contest this result that he can really win. So guys, that's just what uh, we have for you. And there, we've been having a lot of revelation and people have been testifying it. Apart from uh, this new person coming uh, to the court yesterday at the tribunal saying there was a result or there was server or there is server that he personally did that. Even before he came, we had a 13th presiding officer who came that they were trained for this job, that they were brought in for this job, and they were told on how to do this thing, to transmit results to the server, and they uh, by using uh, card readers. And we've had a lot of people, you know, most of this uh, NYC uh, uh, hardcore uh, uh, staff, they testified to that. They've been saying it, 98, 95 to 98% are testified that there is server, and INEC is still saying there is no server, but it's like they've been contradicting themselves. They've been going back and forth on this issue. There is server, there is no server. But as we have it now, the INEC chairman has said he's going to say something at the end of the, uh, you know, uh, uh, the tribunal uh, case. So we don't even know what he's going to say, whether it's still going to be different from what he has said that the, trans the server they had was for, you know, for, for experiments. Those are the clarifications that he needs to make to Nigerians. But he referred Nigerians to, you know, to the, the, the statement or the, the petition of the defenders or the whatever they are quoting. But that's not what we know. But when you ask every Nigerian or ordinary Nigerian on the streets, they know what to say. They know how they feel. They know what must have happened. Just like we always say, at the end of the day, it is still the court that will decide what will happen. But it's just for anybody who wants to, you know, take the... A leadership position or want to take you know to be the winner at the end of the day must present all manner of evidence you know that will prove beyond reasonable doubt that actually they won the only thing still remains is that the judiciary the the lawyers or the judges they have to be fair in this case people have been saying from other quarters that there will be no justice in as much the present regime is there because they have positioned themselves, they have positioned their people. And some people still have it that it was that as a result that honor him was removed. They were they had calculated all of these things. We saw Galadima came coming in for Atiku to testify. You know, everybody knows quite all right that you know he has always been criticizing Buhari. And for Shomole to be there to you know to come and support his party and the president that really we are the winner in this case that Buari is the winner in this case so they all came you know they appeared you know just like he said that no rivado you know accompanying him there the former efcc boss so everybody came for their own to support their own you know to say what they know one or two things they know about this whole thing but i think i neck you know is really the main issue here and I'm, I'm sure they are not going to accept it because they've been saying that there's no server. But like we have asked in, in the past, the money budgeted for this server, where is the money now? Nobody can say it. Nobody can talk anything about it. That one has really gone down the drain. The whole thing has really gone down the drain. Like they said, all the money budgeted, if really there was server, it was just for experiment. So those money was really for experiment. And you know, you know, this country is just really full of wastages full of wastages and yet we still have people living in penury they talk about the dogs they talk about the horses nobody's even talking about all those ones all those money budgeted for all those money gone down the drain nobody's going to account for it that is just the kind of country and we are we have a lot of numbers of people living in abject poverty what are we going to do so guys that is just my opinion and let's see whether this a uh, statement or the testimony of this uh, presiding officer that said he personally transmits the results to the server let's see whether he's going to hold water before the court leave your comment below and let's hear your take on this matter thank you very much you guys are just the best bye